Good morning. Happy Easter. I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful uh, Easter, whether you're at church or however uh, you all decide to uh, celebrate it, if that is uh, something that you do in fact celebrate. So I'm going to get started on a quick collective read. But before I get started with that, I just wanted to do a quick sidebar note. And it will be quick. I promise. <laughs> uh, this is just a follow-up. Uh, someone in my collective had asked, what is energy harvesting? And uh, I gave a description about how energy harvesting is uh, an emotional response uh, that someone will emit, which is a form of energy that people use or people uh, will invoke in someone in order to manifest for themselves. Uh, and they also do it through sex. Uh, an orgasm is also an uh, energetic or emotional response that emits energy. Anything that emits energy from you as a result of something that's done, whether it's mentally, physically, through sex, or just through words, okay? So, uh... A sidebar note, the Spirit wanted, the Holy Spirit wanted me to say to that was, I came across a woman's video yesterday, and I believe I was supposed to. Her name is Cute Flora, okay? I'm going to spell it real quick. C-U-T-E, cute, like you're very cute. And then Flora, like Flora water, okay? F-L-O-R-A. And the name of the video is, do this before or after you have sex, okay? Uh, and just to put it short, because uh, she's um, a little uh, while in getting to her point, just like me. <laughs> I know it takes me a while to arrive at my point sometime. Uh, but the gist of what she said, what she was saying was, and she used the word, your good luck. She said, if you're worried about someone stealing your good luck, you know, uh, after coming in contact with you, in any way, she said, this is what you need to do before you have sex with them. Now, there's nothing wrong with having casual sex. If you're a person that is sexually active, you're single, in relationship, whatever, and you suspect someone may want to uh, steal your energy from you to manifest for themselves because they might be entering into a casual sex relationship uh, with you uh, under false pretenses, if you, or you just want to protect yourself, the gist of what she said is, Get two to five liters of water, okay? Uh, and she said to add whatever type of salt you use, sea salt, table salt, add it to the water. She said cut up some lemons and add that to the water as well. And she said it's got to be enough water to pour over your head, over your entire body. And she said what you do is you pour this water over your entire body and you, you, you speak in an invocation up in your own words of uh, with me I'd be like I petition and invoke protection over all of my chakra centers I, pr and I petition and invoke protection over my solar plexus my root chakra, my sacral chakra from anyone and against anyone that attempts to siphon energy from me to manifest abundance for themselves my energy is mine only for the manifestations of my abundance and mine only I call all of my energy back to me in this moment Okay, that's just something I would say. You come up with your own, but you can say I am protected from anyone and uh, uh, stealing or siphoning my energy from me. Anyone that tries or attempts to siphon my energy is herefore cut off and blocked, binded, bound, and banished from my energy. Okay, and she said to do this and to say this as you pour that wa water over your body. And the other important part of that was. She said, you have to let your body, uh, she said, allow your body to air dry, okay? She said, don't, when you pour that over your body, do not uh, dry yourself off with a towel, but just let your body air dry completely, okay? And she said, you can either do it before you have sex, or she said, you can do this after you have sex with somebody, especially if you're a human being, okay, uh, like me, <laughs> you know, uh, you could be a young person that's just sexually active, and it's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, protect yourself, of course. Now, me personally, I am not sexually active, but uh, if you are uh, living a sexually active life at this particular time, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that, but you, a lot of you may not have known in the past 
uh, it's not just about physical protection from pregnancy and diseases. It's also spiritual protection from people uh, tapping into your energy uh, and having a, a bad motive toward you that you might be unaware of, okay? Because you might not be fully tapped in just yet, okay? Uh, now, if you want to hear it in her own words, because um, I hadn't heard that before, so I learned something new. You know, uh, I hadn't had a chance to go any further into it, but I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I saved her video uh, under uh, my public video list, uh, my playlist, labeled education. It's all the way toward the bottom. Her name is Flora Cute. And she, like I said, she says, do this before or after sex. And, uh, you know, like I said, lemon, water, salt, pour it over your body. Say your invocations about protection and let your body air dry, okay? So uh, check it out when you get a chance, you know, if that's something that you are interested in. So with that, uh, I'm gonna jump right into this reading. So uh, I was shown to pull two cards here. Um, and the first card I have is the three of air, okay? The three of air, okay? And then I also have uh, the ace of earth here, okay? Uh, now the three of air, uh, this card actually came out in reverse. So somebody actually could just be coming into what they're telling me is some type of a self-realization, okay? This is something, air makes me think of something going on in the mind. And in the past, they might have had some cloudiness uh, blocking them from being illuminated to certain truths uh, because of uh, certain ways that they were thinking where they were trapped in fear uh, due to an indoctrination or religion or something, something that had them trapped in a state of fear a mind frame of fear wherein they were afraid to move past that cloud of darkness over them and, and see the sun, you know, because of uh, something they were taught, okay? So just very quickly, three of air. I have three energies here. This can be three family members, three friends, uh, a combination of three people here though. But there are three people here, okay? And two of these people have seen the light already. They know what's beyond this cloudy sky and they find toward the sun, okay? These are two people that have already had uh, self